Yo guys, what's going on? Oliver here from Conversion Wise, and welcome to Optimization by Oliver, episode number 51. Wow. Okay, in this episode, I have picked the awesome apparel brand Vori. These guys sell in excess of $30 million worth of athletic clothes every single year online. I reckon I could help them sell a hell of a lot more. I'm gonna show you in this video how I would conversion rate optimize their store, and I'm gonna break down three pages. Let's start with the home page. So I've got four points here. Point number one, what I would do is just reorder that above the fold. I would pick an image that allowed me to lower the opacity behind the background of the headline. As you can see on their headline, it's kind of white text on a white background. It doesn't get red, it's a bit generic, it's a bit boring. I chose a more emotive headline, experiencing the pinnacle of athletic luxury at Vori. So something that just really leans into their value proposition. Point number two is I've used one clear call to action. It's one call to action, it's full width, it's very easy to click on mobile and it leads you directly to the best sellers, which is all about the money. They've made another mistake in my opinion by selecting two smaller buttons that are very hard to read, not that easily separated and don't really take me anywhere I want to go. Point number three is I've added the all important social proof above the fold, easily achievable, five gold stars, happy customers, ticks a box. And number four, I back that up with some trust seals that just further enhance the value proposition of Vori's product. Moving on to the product page arguably the most important page in your whole store. And again, I've got four points. I start with number one, I've just optimized that image. I know it's silly, but I made it a little bit smaller. It just allows us to bring more important conversion principles above the fold, the bit that loads when you actually load on the page. And I know that everyone gets fixated with apparel brands and clothing brands having these long images, but trust me, I've seen the data. It doesn't hurt your conversion rate. Actually, it helps you sell more because you can get better conversion principles above the fold. Point number two, I'm not gonna go over it. I've just enhanced the social proof. We've added the words happy customers onto the end and it just levels it up a little bit. Point number three is we have, because of that reordering at the top, been able to get the color select and the size select into the fold. We've also added an all important size chart link. And instead of having these size selects on two separate lines, we've just minimized them use the individual letters to symbolize what size they are, which everyone knows. And we just got it all on one line so that everything fits above the fold. Speaking of fitting above the fold, number four, your all important add the cart is now there. People are making decisions based on intent. If they can see that add the cart, they're more than likely to click it. We've used big bold terms. We stretch it the full width. We've got that directional cue and it's just gonna add more people to our cart. Moving on to the last page, the cart slider. So what they go to after they add the product to cart. And I think there's so much money to be made here for Bori in particular. Number one, I've added a free shipping prompt. These guys don't do it. It blows my mind when people don't do this. Having a free shipping prompt that's gamified with the progress bar just means people will actually add more into their carts to qualify for the free shipping. It's a no brainer. Speaking of which, number two is some in cart upsells. We've done this in a convenient way. We say also you might like, and I suggest them to work out some sort of dynamic injection that injects products that are related to those that they've added into the cart. Number three, we've got all this space. Let's just put in some more social proof. It can never, ever, ever hurt. Speaking of not hurting, if you don't want to hurt and you want more of these CRO tips, head on over to our YouTube channel. We've got hundreds of videos and get in touch with me at conversionwise.com if you'd like us to optimize your store and turn more clicks into customers. I'll see you on the next video.